Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're doing a care video on the giant blue mitha. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this the best I can to get this guy in the video, but here he is. A little bit skittish, but got some leftover crickets in there. Alright, hold on, let me let me calm down real quick. Okay, so here's blue. The giant blue Miva. Honestly, you can be for this care video for blue, green, tiger, whatever. They're all the same. So, blue is pretty calm with handling already, because, yeah, reasons. But, if you first get these guys, they're not that good for handling, because they're pretty skittish. If I show you guys how fast he moves, it's crazy. But, yeah, not that great for handling. You have to, well, they can be if you work with them for a little bit, tame them down a bit. These guys are in the Tegu family, so they're like dwarf Tegus. They're just smaller Tegus. Because, you know, te Tegus aren't this small. He's not fully grown yet. Ow. He's he's not fully grown yet. He's still a juvenile slash baby type thing. So they get around two feet. Good example would be a bearded dragon. I can just let him. Just gotta move really calm and he'll let you pick him up. But yeah. Alright, their diet consists of. Like, you can basically any insect. Doobie roaches, crickets, mealworms, hornworms, all the stuff. All the, the normal stuff you'd feed a reptile. And, like, chicken and stuff like that. And tilapia, salmon, like, fish. Like, make sure it's, like, chopped up fish, though, obviously. Let's go ahead and feed this guy and get some crickets out of the hardy cricket bin. Okay, so the crickets are in the tank. Um, so you guys can enjoy him eating while I talk. Basically, I feed him crickets right now because it seems to be the only thing he'll want to eat. The crick um, the doobie roaches are too big for his mouth right now, so... Ignore the dirty water dish, by the way. But the crickets are... I mean, the doobie roaches are a little bit too big for his mouth, so... Don't want to do any of that so i'm just feeding him crickets right now for the most part i have them in a 40 gallon tank their tank doesn't really need to be this big and you know so i don't have much stuff in here because they are a burrowing species um but back to the tank size um you don't really need as big as a 40 gallon tank even a 30 or a 20 gallon might be fine as a minimum but 40 it, it isn't it doesn't need to be this big Back to the decor and stuff like that. You need to make sure you have a good amount of substrate. You see how deep that is? You need around that. I think it's like two to three inches. Let me lift this up because all the crickets went under here. But yeah, you need around two to three um, inches of substrate. And make sure the substrate stays nice and like not wet, but like moist and stuff. I know I haven't watered this tank yet today because it's still kind of morning time not really morning but i probably need to wash this tank now and the rest of the tanks but make sure to keep it nice and moist um he's very much struggling right now these guys are also capable of dropping their tails so be careful of that if you came here for like breeding and stuff i'm not all into breeding so i can't really tell you much about that Did not get it. There it goes. But yeah, I'm not, I don't do breeding and stuff like that, so I can't really tell you anything about that. I think if you live down in Florida, in the US, you see these guys a lot, because they are invasive in Florida, so they're kind of not supposed to be there. But they they're a, they originate from like the Central and South America, and some of the Caribbean islands. I try not to hand feed this guy, I try to just let him hunt on his own. So that he, wow. So that he, so that he kind of, I don't, want, I don't really want him to have, like get used to like tongs, like a feeding response. Just kind of let him hunt on his own. I mean, you can tong feed him if you want to. Doesn't really matter. Now, telling if they're a boy or a girl. Blue here is a girl. The only way I know that is because males have way more green than females do. Because you know, in the wild, the males always brighter. The females need to have camouflage and stuff like that. So, blue is in fact a girl. That we call. 
sorry blue is a girl um she is a blue amoeba though so she's got blue on the underbelly which i'm not gonna pick pick her up to show, show you that all that but yeah you can kind of see the tag you like in the um like the whole body structure i mean she's not small at all if i put my hand next to her she's still i mean she's not an adult but she's pretty big already let me pick you up please thank you oh my goodness thank you all right but yeah oh, wow rude she's still pretty small while i'm at it i'm gonna go ahead and water the tank real quick so you guys can you know get a good feel gonna like pump it and everything you know reptile things Oh, hold on. Okay. There you go. Don't like the water, do you? Um, before I finish, just let me go ahead and change out the water bowl real quick. E. Okay, here we go. Here's a nice, fresh water bowl. As you can see, she went into a hide. Probably... I don't know why she went to her hide. I'm scared of the water. But, since this is a care video, I will get her back out. Another thing is, she, she has not tried to bite me yet at all. Like, not even tried to strike me. She's been very calm ever since I got her. She was shipped here, so, I mean, I don't really know what her past life was like. But to be completely honest, there's really not that much about these guys. Your typical lizard care guide, you know, because, yeah, not not really that much. But obviously, make sure you have, like, the simple stuff, like the heat lamp, wow, like the heat lamp and all that kind of stuff. But other than that, that's pretty much all you guys need to know about these guys. If you're looking for an amoeba care guide, came to the right place. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.